I'd like to show you how easy it is to set up single sign-on using Azure Active Directory for Tableau Online. Let's take a look. It's actually really easy to set up. So I'm gonna log into Tableau here and under settings and authentication, I'm gonna enable an additional authentication method. Let's zoom in just a little bit for you. And I'm gonna click on edit connection. And this is where I'm gonna export the metadata and I'm going to import that metadata into Azure Active Directory. So if we pull up Azure Active Directory here and we go to Enterprise Applications, I'm going to click on New Application and I'm gonna add from the gallery and I'm just gonna type in Tableau and I click on Tableau Online and it'll automatically get added. Now I've already done this, so let me find my instance of Tableau and when I enabled it, I also enabled single sign-on to use SAML. And this is where I can upload that metadata file from the Tableau settings. So once I've done that, then I can go through and I can import metadata from Azure Active Directory. So back in Azure Active Directory, if you scroll down a little bit, here I have Federation Metadata XML. I'm gonna download that. I'm gonna upload it here, which will then get these parameters. And at that point, I'm ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna click on test connection and successfully connected to the server. And then uh, I haven't done anything around attribute matching, although you could. Uh, I'm choosing authenticate and separate pop-up window and um, using Microsoft Online SAML for the default authentication type for embedded views. And then um, it does have skim for automated provisioning. However, it does not support Azure Active Directory is my understanding, so uh, we'll have to wait on this. But to add users, I'm just gonna click on add users, and this is where I can type in their email address, choose add users for Microsoft Online, and it will send them an email that looks something like this. So, hey, you've been invited uh, to Tableau, and when I click on this, you'll see single sign-on kick in, and there's Tableau, I'm signed in. And at this point, I can go over here to users and I can keep adding other users. So I've already added another user here, Adele, and I'll talk more about that here in just a moment. So if we go back to Azure Active Directory, that's really it. Uh, import the files and it automatically populates the fields for me and I'm ready to rock and roll. Now to grant access to Tableau, not only do I need to create the user account in Tableau, but I also need to add the Azure Active Directory user account to the enterprise app. So under users and groups, I added Adele and Megan, and when I add those user accounts, I have to tell the system what role do I want to assign in Tableau. And here you can see those different roles that you can assign in the app. And once I've done that, again, we're ready to rock and roll. So we're ready. Now I wanna show you something else here. If I click on my apps and I go to myapps.microsoft.com, you're gonna see this, an SSO portal, and you will find my, all my apps I've added, including things like Salesforce and Teams, but check it out, there's Tableau Online. And if I click on it, it redirects me and boom, it signs me in. And so I'm ready to, to go at that point. Now, because it's added as an application in Azure Active Directory, I could do some pretty cool stuff. I could do self-service, I can uh, manage exact permissions, I could do logging around sign-ins and audit logs, but check out conditional access. So here's where I created a conditional access policy to do session control for Tableau. So anytime Adele is trying to log in to Tableau and she's logging in from a web browser, then grant access. Now I could also require MFA and I could require that she's using a managed device and I can do other things, but grant access and then apply a conditional access app control policy using a custom policy and then enable it. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go out to Cloud App Security and create a session policy. So then Cloud App Security, we're gonna click on the sliders, click on policies, and I've already created a session policy and it looks something like this. And I'm telling it to block some activities. Now I could have it block file downloads and control file uploads if I wanted to, but we're gonna block activities for the app Tableau and then we're gonna block the activity type anytime they try to copy data out of it. And we could inspect that copy paste action for sensitive text, but for this demo purpose, I'm just gonna leave it wide open. I'm gonna tell it to block with a customized message and then we're gonna update the policy. Now this is already integrated as a connected app, 
because I've added it in my conditional access statement. And there you can see Tableau along with some other third-party apps. So let's go ahead and test this. So to test this, I'm going to sign into Tableau here as Adele. And notice SSO uh, kicks in. Oh, whoops. Let's try this again. And SSO will kick in. It will redirect me to Azure Active Directory. So I'm going to sign in. And then watch what happens when it signs me in. Check out the address bar, cas.ms. It's being proxied through Microsoft Cloud App Security. And here I've got the splash page letting me know that my access is being governed and monitored. Okay, so I'm going to click on continue to Tableau and it's going to sign me to Tableau. And here you can see it just signed me in. Now it's still being proxied through our CASB through the Microsoft uh, Cloud Access Security Broker or known as Microsoft Cloud App Security. And this allows me to control session content. So if I highlight some content here on the page and I right click and I choose copy, look what happens. Action blocked and there's my customized message from the policy I just created. Let's try that again. Let's copy some other data out of this. Maybe this is a dashboard with sensitive data. Boom, stops me in my tracks. Pretty cool stuff. So once the app is connected to Azure Active Directory here, there's all sorts of additional controls and governance and auditing you can apply to it. So really awesome stuff. Oh, by the way, once I do that, it creates an alert here to let me know that the policy was violated uh, by Adele. And I can send this off to my SIM and I can do other things with it. If I go to my activity log here, I can then also see uh, all of the activity for those connected apps. But that's enough about Cloud App Security. Let's get back to Tableau and single sign-on. This is just amazing. It's so easy to set up. So go out there, give it a shot. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, folks, we will see you in the next video. Take care.